Hey, how you doing? This is your boy, Pastor John. Listen, and we're picking right back up um, in our Max Licata book, Be Anxious for Nothing. I'm once again, I'm glad that y'all are joining us uh, with me and Pastor Ted doing this um, Connect Group Bible study because we want you to understand that there's nothing for you to be anxious for. But as we're now, we're in a section with a new section talking about asking God for help, a contagious calm. See, one of the things I've realized that in this walk of Christ, we typically try to do everything by ourselves. You ever thought about that? We sit back and we really, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Everybody wants to be the superhero. Everybody wants to handle things themselves. Everybody wants to run the football from kickoff all the way back down to the goal, for the, to the end zone. Everybody wants to go for the Hail Mary play and do those 90-yard passes. Everybody wants to do a rushing yard for 85 yards for a touchdown. That's what everybody wants. But guess what? It's a team effort. And if we can remember that this walk of Christ is a team effort, then a lot of times we won't have too much anxiety. So many times in our jobs, we're sitting there saying, they they give me too much work, it's too much for me to handle. Our family, too much for these kids, they're doing too much, they, I can't handle it. You know, we do all these things and we think it's too much, but we're not using what the tools that God has given us. And that is seeking His help. You know, there's a great calmness that comes when you begin to seek God's help. You know, you begin to know you can handle anything. I got two uncles, love them both. Um, both of them are millionaires. And whenever we have a family event, one of the things we always know, if there's anything that needs to be done between the uncles, it's good. If they're throwing it at their house, it's good. If they're having it at their company, it's good. Why? We don't stress about it. They say, well, what about the food? No, it's at Uncle Crane's. What about this? Oh, it's at Uncle Horace. You know, why? Because we know they got it covered in everything they do is top tier everything but guess what they can't compare to god and if i can realize that my uncles can do things great that means i know god can do things greater see the same way i don't stress we don't stress about what's going to happen when our uncles put it together guess what we don't need to stress when god is putting this putting together if god has told us what to do and god has said listen i'm commissioning you to go do something or I've put someone in your care, or I've given you a task, or I've given you a mission. And I know it seems like it's a lot. Parenting, I know it seems like it's a lot. I know the job is getting a nerve. I know it seems like a lot. I know the church is heavy for you. I know it seems like a lot. But the understand, use me. God is saying, use me. Call me. Invite me in. Put me in the game, coach. I got you. Call the hot sideline. I got the plate. I can see everything. I can see which way the man needs to go. I understand what you need to do. And then we can have that great peace. And that calmness. It's about like Jesus. When he was in the hull of the ship. And they came down and they said, Master, care not that we perish. And he looked at him. No, ye of little faith. And he said, he spoke to the storm. Peace be still. Imagine that. Christ was a word because he understood that God had ultimate power and gave it to him. They were stressing out. Like we do. Today we're going to talk about asking for help and having that contagious calmness. Because when we don't, we have so much anxiety, we get so high, we get so high, and we end up causing chaos and becoming destructive and become counterintuitive to what God wants us to be. So let us discuss these things because we're going to talk about why that we don't seek Christ before we handle anything. You know, uh, we're going to talk about how do we handle everything on our consulting with God? How does that look? How does it look to consult God? And why don't we typically ask God for help? So we're going to discuss those things. Your teacher's going to be there with you. Listen, let's get better. Let's bring it down. Let's calm down. And I'm, I'm a, I'm, I can't grow up in the 80s, so I'm going to tell you like this. Just chill. You understand? God's got you. This is your boy, Pastor John. Love you and be blessed.